Education Mobile, quality e-learning experience on the go. You're welcome to Fisher Mobile e-learning class. I want to speak on the subject mathematics. And the topic before us today is differentiation of algebraic equation. One, we're going to consider algebraic determination of gradient curve and the expression dy dx. dy dx. Differentiations give us a general clue on how we can derive another equations from its original expression. Let's take example. Differentiate, differentiate y equal to 2x squared plus 5. Differentiate y equal to 2x squared plus 5. Solution. Good. Now, differentiate y equal to 2x squared plus 5. In this question, this is the first thing we have to do because this point will represent PQ to represent the point that lies between x and y axis. The y axis here, the sigma y represents changes in y direction and sigma x represents changes in x coordinates. Now, I say let P be the fixed point of Q and P be the coordinate. So, our P is the coordinate, our Q is the fixed point, therefore, y equal to 2x squared plus 5. If our p is the coordinate, therefore, we have x plus sigma x plus y plus sigma y. If we have y plus sigma y is equal to 2 bracket into x plus sigma x all square plus 5. Now we now have y plus sigma y equal to 2 bracket into we have to open this bracket we are going to have s square plus 2 x sigma x plus bracket sigma x all square plus 5 now after which we have opened this bracket knowing fully well that our 2 is still there to open this bracket therefore Therefore, y plus sigma y equal to, we use the 2 to open this bracket, expand this bracket. 2 times this will give us 2x squared plus 4x sigma x plus 2 bracket into sigma x all squared plus 5. Now, this is the equation that we have gotten. Now, the next step 
Here, you expand the bracket. Here, we subtract. Subtract y from both sides. y minus y plus sigma y equal to 2x squared plus 4x sigma x plus 2 sigma x plus 5 minus bracket into 2x plus 5. Now, y cancel y, we are left with sigma y is equal to 2x squared plus 4x sigma x plus 2 sigma x all into square, then plus 5 minus, minus times 2x will give us minus 2x Minus times minus will give, minus times plus will give us minus five. Now let's collect the like term. Collect like term. We now have sigma y equal to two x square minus two x square plus four x sigma x plus two bracket into sigma x all square. Minus 5 plus 5. Therefore, 2 x squared cancel 2 x squared. Minus 5 plus 5 cancel each other. We are now left with this equation. Sigma y is equal to 4x sigma x plus 2 sigma what? 2 sigma x square plus 2 sigma x square. Now, the movement between the fixed point of Q and with respect to x coordinate is this. Divide both sides by sigma x. Sigma y over sigma x is equal to 4x sigma x plus 2 sigma x, all square, all divided by sigma x. Now, when we divide sigma x with this equation, sigma x will cancel here, sigma x will cancel here. Sigma x cancel here, sigma x cancel here, it may one. We are now left with 4x plus sigma x. 4x plus sigma x. Wow. Therefore, sigma y over sigma x is equal to 4x, 4x plus sigma x. Now, note that Sigma y over sigma x is the tangent, is the tangent of point Q. Note that sigma y over sigma x is the tangent of point Q, which gives us an expression that it is equal to the gradient. Is the gradient of point Q to respect to the coordinates. Point Q to the respect to the coordinates. Therefore, sigma Y over sigma X is equal to 4X plus sigma X. When sigma X is approaching zero, when sigma X is approaching zero, what will happen to sigma y in this question? We now have sigma y over sigma x as it approaches zero is equal to 4x plus is zero. 4x plus is zero. Okay, we have two sigma x. We have two sigma x here. We have two sigma x. Substitute as it approaches zero, 
we have sigma y over sigma x is equal to 4x plus 2 bracket 0. The result of the equation is sigma y over sigma x is equal to 4x plus 0. Therefore, sigma y over sigma x is equal to 4x. The answer to this question is sigma y over sigma x is equal to 4x, which is the derivative of the differentiation of y equal to 2x squared plus 5. I would like you to solve three questions. And if you discover that you still have a shady mindset before you solve the question, I'd like you to rewind back and solve these following questions so as to know how far we are going in this topic. Thank you. Wow, you are welcome back. I'm so much delighted because you have gotten the answer correctly. I want us to see now know the expression of dy over dx. The expression of dy over dx is a derivative. It means derivative of y with respect to x. Just derivative of y with respect to x. Derivative of y with re respect to x. Therefore, if dy over dx is the derivative of y with respect to x, Therefore, we can answer the process by which we are carrying on the differentiation of algebraic equations is called differentiation. Thank you. I would like you to solve questions using differential method to solve algebraic equations so as to see how far you've understood this topic. I would like to conclude by saying differentiations and integration are different differentiations, we have to derive a new answer, a new expression from the old questions. But in integration, we have to get the, the derivations and to prove back the expressions. And constant term is well acknowledged in integration. In short, in a nutshell, differentiation is the reverse of integration. Thank you.